Hello all, welcome to the new video of Signals and Systems. In this video, we'll be studying about transconductance of BJT. So we'll define what is transconductance of a bipolar junction transistor and also we'll see what is the value of this BJT. Okay, so GM is also defined for MOSFETs as well, which we'll see in the next video. Uh, in this video, we'll be only concentrating on uh, deriving the value of transconductance of BJT. Okay, so we have a circuit here. This is a common emitter circuit, a generic one. It has input VBE, which is a DC voltage, and uh, another input VI, which is small signal voltage VI. So these two voltages give rise to two different types of currents. One we have DC bias current IB and another IB which is in lower case this is small signal current due to small signal voltage VI this is due to VBE so these two sum of currents go into the base of NPN transistor okay as denoted by this arrow and also we have a collector current this is a collector so IC is also sum of DC current plus small signal current IC okay so this is a circuit now uh, let's define transconductance GM of a uh, this BJT okay so GM of a transistor is given by derivative of IC upon VBE this is a uh, capital C so VBE okay so this is the transconductance of BJT so GM is defined for as you can see here it is defined for DC current IC which is capital C upon this VBE this is an input DC voltage okay differentiation of IC upon VBE okay D upon DVB of IC. So this is the GM of a transistor. Okay, so GM is defined as variation of collector current with respect to base input voltage at a given operating point of the transistor. Okay, so variation of collector current which is defined mathematically as uh, DIC and with respect to base input voltage this is VBE okay so this is the GM of a transistor so now further we'll see how we can simplify this term for this circuit okay and we'll end up with a GM of a BJT with proper values okay let's see that now let's simplify this transconductance GM which is given by derivative of collector current IC with respect to VBE okay and also collector current is given by I capital C uh, let me write it capital C which is equal to IS into E raised to VBE upon VT where IS is the saturation current of BJT saturation current of BJT and VT is thermal voltage which is uh, defined by K into T upon Q okay where K is Boltzmann constant T is temperature and Kelvin and Q is charge okay of an electron so these are the values this is a this is approximately 26 millivolt at 300 K this value that is VT okay this is a saturation current now what we'll do is we have a, a equation for collector current IC let's call it as 1 and substitute this value of IC that is right hand side in this derivative term IC here so that becomes GM equal to D upon DVBE 
of IC that is collector current which is equal to IS into E raise to VBE upon VT. So it's a simple uh, derivative. Since we are differentiating with respect to VBE, first IS will become constant and derivative of exponential term is exponential term itself. So we get VBE upon VT. Okay, and uh, this exponential term here that is VB upon VT is uh, not only with respect to VB, so we have to derive it once more. So, derivative of VB upon VT with respect to VB will become 1 over VT, which is constant, and derivative of VB with respect to VB is 1. So, multiplying all this, we get IS into E raised to VB upon VT upon vt so one more time is into e raised to be upon vt upon vt so if you compare one is into e raised to be upon vt is nothing but collector current ic okay so gm will become collector current ic upon vt okay so this is capital C IC upon VT is the transconductance of BJT we have simplified from this derivative term uh, so if you know collector current and the VT is already defined that is thermal voltage uh, what is the value at say 300 Kelvin so knowing the collector current we can determine the value of GM that is transconductance of BJT that is bipolar junction transistor. So this GM uh, is very useful while calculating the small signal gain. So we will see that later. Uh, for now just remember what is the value of this GM of BJT. We will also see what is the transconductance of MOSFET so we can compare. Uh, if everything remains same what is the GM like uh, at given temperature and at given output current what is the GM okay so by then we can get a fair bit of idea of uh, how MOSFET works and how BJT works which is which has uh, advantages in uh, terms of gain etc etc okay so GM is equal to IC which is collector current upon VT which is thermal voltage VT is already KT upon Q everything is constant K is constant Q is constant T is the temperature in Kelvin so you can easily calculate that uh, so you will get the value of GM for a BJT okay just uh, with the help of collector current so that's all uh, with respect to transconductance of BJT uh, if you have any doubts, please use the comment section. We will come back soon with another video. Uh, keep subscribing to our channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.